Good evening with everybody, the JCJ aspirants of the 2022. Karibu sana, welcome to my class. And uh, read what I posted on the screen. Anyone can unmute, only participants. Anyone can unmute and read. Important choice questions on in the law. Important multiple choice questions. And you did not read the Hindu Marriage Act and the Hindu Succession Act. And the host is Rividya Matamari, Kurukunda Sharad Babu, Professor Hussain. Now the first turn is I'm um, going to give to the Kulikunda. Be ready, Kulikunda, for uh, now I'll switch over to you. Uh, I believe that you are present. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Continue it. First question is in 2008, The Supreme Court ruled that the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005 has dash effect, and for the daughter to become a co-sharer with her male siblings, the father does not have to be alive on 9th of September 2005. A prospective, B introspective, C retrospective, D imperative. Prospective A. Prospective. <coughs> That is not correct. Second option. Retrospective, sir. Ah uh, yes. Option. Retrospective. 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 With retrospective. Option C is the correct answer. From the back date, that means. So second question is. For the purposes of the section six of the Hindu Succession Amendment Act, two thousand five, partition means any partition made by execution of a deed of partition duly registered under the Registration Act, nineteen ninety eight, or partition effected by a a decision of a court, b a decree of court, c a judgment of a court, d an order of a court. Decree of a court, sir. An order of a decree of court. Yes, option B is the correct answer. A decree of court. Now, third question is: A Hindu cannot create an estate unknown to Hindu law or lay down deed of settlement of his property, a line of succession against. principles of hindu law of inheritance this was decided in the case of a ashwini kumar versus shasharani b rabindra prasad versus sita devi c basappa versus siddha gangamma d brijendra pratap singh versus shrimati premalata singh ashwini kumar versus shasharani wrong option c basappa versus siddha gangam that is also wrong any other option now b and d d is the correct option vijayendra pratap singh versus srimati premalata singh now fourth question is where there was no partition by mates and bounds between common ancestors order decreeing with direction to partition Suit properties is just and proper. This was declared in the case of A. Hari Sahu versus Dena Bandhu Sahu. B. Angelos Arun Uran versus Kamal Uran. C. Ravindra Kumar versus Kamal Kanta. D. Jacinta Kamath versus Padmanabh Kamath. Shoot! Shoot your answer. Shoot at the any option. Option C, sir. So option, option D is the uh, option A is the correct answer. Hari Sahu versus uh, Dina Bandhu Sahu. Hari Sahu versus Dina Bandhu Sahu. If the partition is uh, not done by mates and bounds, then the court will give an order to do it so. Fifth question. 
the Hindu Section Amendment Act 2005 amended the earlier Act of 1956, revising rules by giving daughters of the deceased equal rights with sons on A, individual property, B, self-acquired property, C, co-personary property, D, jewelry and cash. B, self-acquired property. B, C, co-personary property. Co Yes, option C is the correct answer, co-personary property. Now, sixth question is, the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005 amended the earlier Act of 1956, giving and subjecting both male and female children, A, equal rights and same liabilities and disabilities, B, equal rights, C, equal duties, D, same liabilities and disabilities. Option A, equal rights, same liabilities and disabilities. Yes, option A is the correct answer. Equal rights as well as same liabilities and disabilities. Now, seventh question is, according to the Hindu Section Act 1956, the class one heads do not include A, sons, B, daughters, father. C, father, father. D, mem mother. C is the correct answer, father. Let the host Eighth read question. the D option. According to which? Then only that you can give the answer. D, mother. D, mother. Option C is the correct answer. Next, eighth question is, according to which section of Hindu Section Act, 1956, the Act does not apply to certain properties. A, Section 6, B, Section 1, C, Section 7, D option is Section 5. Section 5. Yes, option D is the correct answer according to Section 5. Now, certain properties uh, cannot be succeeded. Ninth question. The descendants of converts from Hinduism are disqualified from Section as per dash of Hindu Section Act 1956, unless they are Hindus at the time of succession. A, Section 21, B, Section 20, C, Section 26, D, Section 22. Section 21, 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 Section Section 26, according to Section 26, the converts are not qualified, disqualified to inherit the Hindu section property. Custody of child. Next. Tenth person, if an interstate has left no ultimate heirs as per the provisions of the Hindu Section Act 1956, such property shall devolve on the government, which is called a bona vacantia, B S C C eminent domain. D, confiscation. B, S, cheat. B, S, cheat. B, S, cheat is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. Now, 11th question. The Hindu Section Act 1956 abolish A, the limited estate of Hindu man, B, the limited estate of Hindu father, C, the limited estate of Hindu woman, D, the limited estate of Hindu mother. Option is C, the limited estate of Hindu women. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, option C is the correct answer, the limited estate of Hindu women. Twelfth question. The Hindu Section Act 1956 pertains to A, Hindu interstate or unwilled section Hindu interstate or unwilled section B, Hindu willed property section C, Hindu tested property section D, all of them. All of the and option A, Hindu interstate or unwilled succession. Yes, option A is the correct answer, Hindu interstate or unwilled section. Thirteenth question, parts of the Hindu section act 1956 so scroll it down. Parts of the Hindu Section Act 1956 were amended in A, December 2004, B, October 2004, C, December 2005, D, October 2005. 
डिसम्बर Yes, option A is the correct answer. December two thousand four. Fourteen question. The Act number of the Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty six, is A thirty nine, B forty five, C thirty, D twenty four. Thirty nine. Thirty. A thirty nine. Option C. Option C is the correct answer. Someone has said option C is the correct answer. Thirty. The Act number. Fifteen question. The Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty six, was enacted on a first of June nineteen fifty six, b first of August nineteen fifty six, c sixteenth of August nineteen fifty six, d seventeenth of June nineteen fifty six. Option D, seventeenth June nineteen fifty six. Yes, option D is the correct answer. Seventeenth June nineteen fifty six. Now. Sixteenth, sixteenth question is, sir, it's not clear. According to the Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty-six, there are dash of eights. A, three classes. B, two classes. C, five classes. D, four classes. B, two, two classes. classes. Two classes. Two classes. Option B is the correct answer. There are two classes of eights according to Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty-six. Now, eighteenth question. Your father's sister's son. Your father's sister's no, son. No, this is the seventeenth. Oh, sorry. Seventeenth question. Section dash of the Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty-six, disqualifies a murderer of the murdered person from inheriting his property. A twenty-seven. B twenty-two. C twenty-five. C twenty-three. D25. D25. Yes, option D is the correct answer. A25. Section 25. According to section 25, a murderer is disqualified from inheritance of the person. Now, 18th question. Your father's sister's son would be a full blood related to you, a half blood related to you, c cognate to you, the organate to you. C agnate to you. C. C. Full bit. C. C. Cognate. C. Option C is the correct answer. Cognate to you. Nineteenth question. The order of succession of heirs in the Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty six, is stated in the section. A. Yeah, section nine. B. Section twenty five. C. Section thirteen. D. Section ten. Section ten, sir. Section nine. Yes, option section nine. nine is the correct answer. Option section A is section nine is the right answer. Section nine. Now twentieth question. Section twenty one of Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty six, is provided for a assumption in cases of simultaneous deaths. B. Confirmation in cases of simultaneous deaths. C. Determination in cases of simultaneous deaths. D. Presumption in cases of simultaneous deaths. Option D. Option D. Option D. Option D. D. Presumption. Option D. Option D. Yes, option D is the correct option answer. D. Right answer. It is a presumption in cases of simultaneous deaths. Twenty-first right. question. Once father, comma. Father's father, comma, grandfather, comma, grand grandfather, are once agnates in a collateral line, b ascending line, d c descending line, d horizontal line. Option b descending line. Descending line. Option A, sir. Option A is the correct answer. Descending line. Now, twenty-second question is. When two persons are descended from a common mother by her different husbands, can their relationship, according to Section Three One E of the Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty six, is by a half blood, b full blood, c uterine blood, d none of the above? C. 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 C.
Now, 23rd question is, there are dash chapters and dash sections in the Hindu Section Act 1956. A, 5 and 31, B, 4 and 31, C, 4 and 32, D, 5 and 32. 4 and 31. Option A. Option A. 5 and 31. Option B is the correct answer. 4 and 31. Of course, fourth one is repealed, but anyhow, when they ask, we have to say how many chapters, we have to say 4 and sections are 31. 24th question. Section 3. Clause F of the Hindu Section Act 1956 defines A. Succession B. Inheritance C. Sapinda D. Hey. C. Sapinda. C. Inheritance. D. Inheritance. Option C. Sapinda. D. Hair. Hair, sir. Hair, sir. Option D is the correct answer. Hair. 3 F defines. Hair. Hair means uh, varasudu, successor. 25th question. After the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005 came into effect on 9 September 2005, Class 5 of Section shall not apply to the parties affected before. A. The 20th day of December 2004. B. The 20th day of this January 2005. C. The 20th day of February 2005. D. The 21st day of December 2005. Option A. Yes, A. Option A. 20th option December A. 2004. Yes, option A is the correct answer. The 20th day of December 2004. Thank you, sir. Yes, now it's the time for the Motamari Sri Vidya. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, now we'll go through it. Yes, roll down. Yes. First question. When did Hindu Marriage Act 19, 1955 came into force? Option A, 1st April 1955. Option B, 1st March 1955. Option C, 1st May 1955. Option D, 18th May 1955. Option D, 18th May 1955. Yes, option D is the correct answer. Next question. Which section of Hindu Marriage Act 1955 deals with the restoration of conjugal right? Option A, Section 12. Option B, Section 9. Option C, Section 14. Option D, Section 20. Okay, nine. So, option nine. Nine. Section 9 of the Hindu Marriage yes. Third question. Which section of Hindu Marriage Act deals with the divorced person when may marry again? Option A, Section 15. Option B, Section 14. Option C, Section 13. Option D, Section 18. Option C, Section A, Section of the Hindu Marriage Act. Yes, Option A, Section 15 is the correct answer. Option A. Fourth question. Sir, please scroll down. Yeah. Section 25 of Hindu Marriage Act 1955 deals with Option A, Decree in Proceedings. Option B, Permanent Elimony and Maintenance. Option, B. option D. Option C, disposal of property. Option D, enforcement of decree and orders. Option B, permanent maintenance. Fifth question. Proceedings to be in camera and may not be printed or published is provided in which in section dash of Hindu Marriage Act 1955. Option A, section 24. Option B, section 22. Option C, section 21. Option D, section 23. Option C, Option B, Section 22. Yes, Section B, Section, uh, I mean, Option B, Section 22 is the correct answer. A sixth question. Section 16 of Hindu Marriage Act 1955 provides Option A, legitimacy of children of void and voidable marriages. Option B, decree in proceedings. Option C, punishment of bigamy. Option D, divorce by mutual consent. A answer is optimacy of a child of void and voidable marriages. Yes, option A is the correct answer. Legitimacy of children of void and voidable marriages. Seventh question. Which section of Hindu Marriage Act 1955 deals with the custody of children? 
ऑप्शन ए सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑप्शन बी सेक्शन ट्वेंटी फोर ऑप्शन सी सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑप्शन डी सेक्शन ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज अ करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर वॉट इज सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिस्पोजल ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी डिस्पोजल ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीबल Uh, eighth question section 12 of hindu marriage act 1955 deals with option a voidable marriages option b consent and verification of parties option c disposal of property option d divorce a, 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 yes option a is the correct answer ninth question which section of hindu marriage act 1955 deals with the court to which the petition shall be presented option a section 17 option b section 19 option c section 14 option d section 15 section option 19. b section 19 19 option 19 option b section 19 is the correct answer 10th question section 10 of hindu marriage act deals with option a alternate relief in divorce proceedings option b decree in proceedings option c uh, judicial separation option d enforcement of decree and orders option c judicial separation yes it's very good these are direct questions everyone are very thorough with hindu marriage act and 11th question which among the following are source of hindu law option a shruti option b daya bhaga option c mitakshara option d co personary shruti option c daya mitakshara option c ऑप्शन 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 सी 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 इज़ 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 द द द द द करेक्ट 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 आंसर 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 सच ओके इज़ 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 इट्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ कंसेंट डिवर्स मेंशन्ड अंडर ऑप्शन ए सेक्शन थर्टीन ऑप्शन बी सेक्शन थर्टीन बी ऑप्शन सी सेक्शन फोर्टीन ऑप्शन डी सेक्शन वेरी गुड कैन समवन नेम द फेमस केस लॉस ऑफ सेक्शन थर्टीन बी सरिता वर्सेस वेंकट सुबैया वर्सेस वेंकट सुबैया आई थिंक इट्स रिलेटेड टू आर सी आर फेमसो Cheat is a term employed to denote lapsing of property to the dash in default of heirs on the death of the intestate. Option A, NGO. Option B, government. Option C, orphanage. Option D, none. Option B, government. Yes. Option B, government is the correct answer. Fourteenth question. When two persons are the descendants of a common ancestors but by different wives, they are said to be related by each other. By option A, full blood. Option B, half blood. Option C, uterine blood. Option D, either B or C. Option B, half blood. Half blood. B is the correct answer. The common ancestors, but by same wife. Full blood. Full blood. Full blood. If the if it is by same wife, it is full blood. Different full wife, blood. half blood. Yes, yes. Fifteenth question. A partition as per Mitakshara law may be affected. Option A by agreement. Option B by notice. Why is breaking? Is it clear now? It is clear to me. Yes, no. okay, all sir. the above. Proceed. Yes, all the above. All the above is the correct answer. Sixteenth question: The age of bride and bridegroom under Hindu Marriage Act, nineteen fifty-five, are option A eighteen years and twenty-one years, option B twenty-one years of the both, option C eighteen years of both, option D twenty years and twenty-two A. years. ऑप्शन डी All the property goes to his father. 
In case of an offence of dowry debt, should have occurred within dash years of her marriage. Option A, five years. Option B, twelve years. Option C, seven years. Option D, ten years. Three. Option C, seven years. Seven years. Option C, seven years is a correct. Twenty-first question. Only ground available for dissolution of marriage under the Special Marriage Act, nineteen fifty-four, is option A, impotency. Option B, adultery. Option C, cruelty. Option C, desertion. मैरिजेंसी Option C. Can repeat the question? Can you repeat the question now? Marriage between an unmarried woman and a married man is void. Irregular. Option void option B. None of this. Which is void. Option B. None. None of this. Who said option B? Void. Option. Can you explain why this is none of this? Voidable. It's void. It is void. It is voidable if uh, the marriage is married. Uh, the wife of uh, a married man uh, petitions complaints, then it will become voidable. The answer is one of this, sir, but I don't know the correct explanation. None of this is the correct answer. I think voidable is the justification. Uh, unless, uh, unless the wife of a married man complains. About What? this uh, unmarried woman, then uh, it will sustain. Uh, there are many examples in the Sini field also. Host, what do you say? They can even be in living relationships, so it would be none of this. Only question comes when they quarrel each other or any petition comes to the court. That's why I think I say it is wide open. Wide, eh, na? क्वेश्चन In which of the following case it was held that Hindu husband converting to Islam and marrying again will be guilty of bigamy? Option A, P. Venkatramana vs. State. Option B, A. Saroj Rani, Saroj Rani vs. Sudarshan Kumar. Option C, Sarlam Rukda vs. Union of India. Option D, Doctor N. A. Mukherjee vs. State. C. Saral Mukherjee. Option C, Saral Mukherjee vs. Union of India. Yes, yes, correct answer. Can someone give me facts of the case? Yes, sir. 
Proceed. Yes, 25th question. Yes. Uh, can someone give explanation regarding P. Venkatramana versus state? Sir, 24th question, sir. Please scroll. P. Venkatramana versus state of AP. Say pass on. Who's to give the answer? Pass on. It's Don't regarding the time. age of the so the yes, sir, it's regarding the ages of the bride and bridegroom. At the time of marriage, both are minors. Uh, so when he became major, he just thought of divorcing. It was regarding such principles, sir. Regarding Section Five of Hindu Marriage Act. The marriage was considered void ab initio. Is it a, is this explanation about twenty four bit P Venkat Ramana versus yes yes. yes. Yeah. But the but the case is Supreme Court held that uh, converting first the sake of marriage to Islam is not acceptable. Actually, for the Actually, purpose for twenty fourth, the, the answer is Sarla Mukda. Sarla but Mukda. I'm just Sarla giving Mukda. explanation for P Venkatramana versus State. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Proceed twenty fifth. Twenty fifth question: Which of the following is a le le leading case on desertion? Option A, Kailashwati versus Ayodhya Prakash. Option B, Ashok Hura versus Rupa Hura. Option C, Vipin Chandra versus Prabhavati. Option D, Bhagavati versus Bhagavat. Bhagavat versus Bhagavati. Option C, Vipin Chandra versus Prabhavati. Yes, Vipin Chandra versus Prabhavati is a correct answer regarding the case of desertion. Yes, yes supplementary question. What is meant by desertion? Two years. Only one, one, one can make it out. Swandana, speak. Wife and uh, wife or husband, anyone living, uh, living separately for two years, more than two years. Two years. Consecutive. Two years. Consecutive two years. Two years. Don't say two years. Yes, sir. Continuous period. The wording is very much important. Desertion, <laughs> um, actually, it is abandoning. Correct, correct, correct. What you said is correct. And what section says Hindu marriage act? Legitimacy of your child in void and voidable marriage. I said the desertion, what section says? On the grounds of the dissolution of marriage, there is a section and class one class is there. Section 13, section 5, class 13, 13, class 1A. One 1A one one or 1B? One 1B. One 1B. One anyway, B, check it. 1B is the correct answer, sir. 1B. Yes, check it. Now it is my turn. Hindu Marriage Act 1955. And let us see that... Uh, you are giving answer for the, all the questions immediately, 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 immediately. Now let us see how you give the answer for this one. First question. Let me make the first. What is the purpose of Hindu Marriage Act 1955? Which one is false statement among the four options? A. The main purpose of the act was to amend the codify the law related to the marriage among the Hindus and others. B option, besides amending and codifying the Sanskrit law, and C, it is also included separation and divorce, which is also exists in Shastric law. D, D is, oh, oh, because I don't want to show the feedback. D is, this enactment brought uniformity of law for all section of Hindus. I said, which is false. For the option D. Hindu marriage act of 1955. Option, 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 what is left? B is left, sir. Besides amending and codifying, there is no Sanskrit law. Besides amending and codifying, Shastrik law. S-C-I-S-T-R-I-K. 
Ah, now you give the answer for this question. Second question. Let me put the number in. At the time of the marriage, there is no subsisting valid marriage between any of the party. That is the provision of the act prohibits bigamy or polygamy and polyandry. These are all treated as an offense and are punishable under the A, the Hindu Marriage Act, B, the Hindu Succession Act, C, the Indian Succession Act, and D, Indian Penal Code. Indian Penal Code. Indian Penal Code, the option. I appreciate. It is the Indian Penal Code says, regarding yeah, polygamy and polyandry. So, supplementary question. What is the bigamy case law? I mean, section? 494. I appreciate, I appreciate. So, when a living spouse is there, you are not supposed to marry, conduct the marriage at second. Unless you get converted into Muslim. Oh, <laughs> they will <laughs> choose the <laughs> options. No <laughs> options only you have to choose from there. <laughs> no assumption <laughs> and presumptions. Okay, next question. <laughs> that is the third question. Miss the following yes. acts from part A and corresponding year in part B. So now let us see. Number one, Hindu Marriage Act. Number two, Hindu Succession Act. Number three, Indian Succession Act. Number four, Special Marriage Act. And uh, part B, 1955A, 1956B, C, 1925A. D 1955 and now you choose which is the correct of course I did not mention the options here if I mention the option you can easily make it out the only thing what? is uh, the special marriage act is 1920 I said participants not the host when I say host you should have to appear Indian marriage act. Only one can speak. Special marriage act, Special marriage act, Special marriage There is no 1954 is written there, I believe. Is it written? I think there is something missing. Okay, now let me consider it. Okay, now let us consider it. Okay, one. 54, we can make it out instead of 55. Okay, next. Next. Correct, sir. You have to say because we are reading Hindu Succession Act of? 1956, sir. And the Indian Succession Act? 1925. Special Marriage Act? 1954. 1954. Then what is the right option? Hindu Succession Act. Hindu Succession Act 1956. Hindu Succession Act is 1956. Indian Succession Act 1925. The Special Marriage Act 1955. The Hindu Marriage Act of 1955. Okay, now in the act first, Saif Ali Khan married, which type of marriage? Hmm? Saif Ali Khan married Karina Kapoor. Which Special type of marriage, marriage it is? Special marriage. Special marriage. Dharmendra married Hemimalani. Which type of marriage it is? Hindu marriage and uh, Saira Banu married Dilip Kumar. Which type of marriage it is? Special marriage. Tiger Patodi married that Sharmila Tagur. Which type of marriage it is? I think all are the, all these are uh, the special marriages. No, no. Tiger Patodi married according to the family law. That is the Muslim law. 
Shemla Tagore converted it. Yes, yes, yes. And here, I have seen some cases. Let us see that what are the cases would be there is important cases. Shemla Bai, Anantarao, Adhar versus Anantarao, Tirar Rao, Adhar. And this is the case law where the Supreme Court held that if there is any subsisting valid marriage between any of the party at the date of the time, the marriage is considered void. That is a notable case law. Please note down. Because it's already there screen, you can see it. And I load it also on the YouTube. So Next now, is, now it is uh, certain, sir. The answer for uh, the earlier question, we were in doubt. Yes. So uh, uh, if an unmarried woman marries a married man, then it is certainly a void marriage. Yes. Supreme Court uh, that if there is any subsisting valid marriage between any of the property, party, yes. at the date of the yes. time, the marriage is considered as a void marriage, unless until his divorce is taken over there. Yes, sir. That's the the next case is law. Ajit Roy Shiva versus Bai Vasumati. I repeat, Ajit Roy Shiva versus Bai Vasumati. In this case, the time of the marriage, wife was unaware of the fact that the person to whom she was married was lunatic. And the marriage were happening. She came to know that her husband was lunatic. So the court held that this marriage is viable at the option of the agreed party, that is the wife in this case. A question will be asked to the principal and they will give the different cases. Among them, the right case law is lunatic married. At the time of the marriage, the wife doesn't know. But later she came to know that she is a lunatic. At the time, option given to the wife for the viable marriage. Case law name is? Yes, that is the case law. The next is case law. Shakuntala Devi versus Amarnath. In this case, Punjab High Court held that marriage performed in this case by way of custom and usages. And therefore, in this case, Section 5, Subsection 4 of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955 is not applicable in this case because, 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 Custom. It is a custom and usual in marriage. That means custom and uses marriage are valid, valid marriages in India. What is the name of the case law? Shakuntala Devi versus Amarna. Next case law. Swapna Ghosh versus Sarananda Ghosh. The court granted divorce to the aggrieved party as her husband had committed an offence of adultery. Of course, now adultery is no more a defense, no more a offence. At the time, it is an offence, and hence, we can use this Swapna Ghosh versus Sadanand Ghosh. In which case, law? It is, uh, adultery is still a ground for divorce. It is a ground, but not uh, the offence. I say offence. What is the name of the case, law? I said adultery is not an offense. Joseph Shane versus Joseph Shane versus Union of India. Not state of Kerala. Union of India. Joseph Shane from Kerala. Kerala. Yeah. India is a diverse country. An India family law does not vary from state to state. A single system of law directs every community. Even if the community members are settled, domiciled, or resided in any part of the country, a single law system will govern them. But there will be variation in the law related to the caste, subcaste, or subsets. It is based on the custom which creates the variation among the groups. Hindu Marriage Act applicable to whom? Hindus. Hindus. Who are Hindus, the Hindus? Hindus, Hindus Buddhists, Hindus, Jains, Sikhs. And all the Sikhs. And which section says? Sikhs also. Sikhism also. Sikhs also. 
Section two. I appreciate. Yes, now let us see the Hindu Succession Act of 1956 multiple choice question. Then the first question is Section two of the Hindu Succession Act lays down the applicability of the Act. This Act is applicable to which one is false statement among the four? A. Any person who is not a Hindu by religion or any words forms or developments include the Vairashaiva, Lingayat or the Brahmo or Prarat or the Arya Samaj followers. B. Any person who is a Buddhist, Sikh or Jain by religion. C. Any other person who is not a Muslim, Christian, Parsi, Jew unless it is proved that such a person would not be gone by the Hindu law or custom D. The act shall also extend to the whole of India. Option C. Option C. Why C is a wrong answer? Tell me. Because of the religions which are against the option C, Muslims, Christians, Parsis, Jews, and here these are not governed by the Hindu law, as well as these are not customized in our Hindu culture. So that is the answer for that one? No, sir. Actually, Option. if one is not a Muslim yes, or sir. Christian or Parsi Option or Jew, yes, that doesn't mean that he is a Hindu. Option A. Option A, sir. <laughs> I put a, is not, is not a Hindu by religion. Option A, Option Option a, a is a false. Correct answer. Option A is the correct answer. Correct answer. Decent. Okay, second question. However, this section, the above section 2, shall not apply to any scheduled tribes covered under the meaning of dash of the constitution unless otherwise directed by the central government by a notification in the official gadget. Option A, Article 363. Option B, Article 364. Option C, Article 365. Option D, Article 366. Option uh, D. Article 366. Option D. You are right. It is the Article 366 is the right answer for the second question. Now the third question. Who qualifies as a Hindu, Sikh, Jain or Buddhist? It means which is the correct statement among the four statements? A. A legitimate or illegitimate children where both of his parents are either Hindus, Buddhist, Jain or Sikhs. B option. A legitimate or legitimate child, one of whose parents is a Hindu, Buddhist, Jain or Sikh and is brought up as a member of the tribe, community, group or family to which such parent belongs. C. Any person who is a convert or a reconvert to the Hindu or Sikh, Jain or the Buddhist religion. And D. All of the above. All of the above. D. All of the above. All of the above. Please check it once again. Can a illegitimate child be taken into consideration as a Hindu? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Consider as a Hindu. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, illegitimate children, provided one of the parents is a Hindu, is certainly a Hindu. Option C, all of the above, sir. All of the above. All of the above. D, all of the above, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. let's check it once again. Fourth question. That's the following taking one each word explanation is given in the section part B. From part A, Agnet, Cognate, Hayes, Related, Section 3, 1F, Section 3, 1I, Section 3, 1A, Section 3, 1C, and here the option A, 1A, 2C, 3B, 4D, B, 1B, 2C, 3D, 4A, C, 1C, 2D, 3A, 4B, D, 1B, 2D, 3A, 4C. Option, option, C. C. option C is the right answer. Option C is the right option answer. Option C. Feedback. Agnet, section 3, 1A. 
कॉग्नेट सेक्शन थ्री वन सी हेर सेक्शन थ्री वन एफ रिलेटेड सेक्शन थ्री वन आई मैं रिलेशन इन पार्ट बी प्रूव फॉर इट सर एग्नेट ये कॉग्नेट सी बट आई गिव द फीडबैक नो वाई यू आर अगेन आस्किंग मी सी फीडबैक आई एम वेरी वेरी मच क्लियर to remember it sir i am saying so you are you are showing the mnemonics yeah yeah three you are by a pregnant c for 31c okay yeah. 31c c is a cognate and a agnet one a agnet of course if you two remember it we can easily make it the deductive method is it clear shall i proceed at any time it will stop fifth question Match the following part A, the relation in part B. Class one hairs, the class two hairs, the class three hairs, fourth class four hairs. In the part B, father son, a cognate class fourth is someone who has related to the industry through the mixed relative in terms of the sex, and this consists of the elements of the disease. It is very much clear it is given because first two you know it, the other two it is already self-explanatory. And here, one A, two B, three C, four D, one B, two C, three D, four A, one D, two B, three A, four C, D, one B, two A, three D, four C. Which one is the correct answer? Option D. Option D is the correct answer here. Option D, sir. Yes. So when you see the feedback, class one hairs, sons will come. Class two hairs, father will come. Class three hairs, the consistency of the agnets of the disease, and the far class four hairs is concerned a cognate. That is the class four is someone who has related to the interstate through mixed relatives in terms of sex. What is meant by interstate? Participants. The person who dies uh, without writing any will. I appreciate. The Indian Succession Act will be applicable to whom? Interested persons. For the Jews, for the Parsis, for the Christians, for the Muslims. For Hindus. For only Hindus. For the interstate, for interstate. 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 Yes. yes. Now the question comes: If a person married under Special Marriage Act, what succession law could be applied over there? Indian succession. Indian succession. Act, 1925. Is the Indian Succession Act will be applied over there? Can you both Muslims undergo the Special Marriage Act? Yes, sir. Answer is yes. Because it says without caste and creed, the marriage will be conducted not only in India but also in foreign country. If the both are Indians, Indian citizens, where in the in the foreign country where the marriage will be celebrated, conducted, embassy, consulate. It is a consular embassy. Or the High Commissioner, of course, depending upon the countries, either we can say High Commissioner, or we can say Embassy, or we can say Diplomat. So these are the things which I want to share today, and uh, because at any time it will stop, I don't know why the Cisco Webex is very kind enough. Otherwise, it's only fifty minutes. The time given is only fifteen minutes. Due to more number of participants, sir. So the more number of participants are there, they want to give the <laughs> uh, subsidy. <laughs> okay, not more number because yesterday there are seventy-five is there. Today it is a fifty-four or fifty-four, fifty-four or fifty-six is there. The highest. I don't know how many members you have taken the screenshot when the highest number is present over there. What is the highest number today? Yes, sir. I am not taking the screenshot because I am busy in admitting the students, those who are coming late. So tomorrow class is four. 
CPC. CPC in, a, in type of the abbreviation. Which type of the abbreviation it is? Code I told you in the yesterday. Four type of the abbreviation. Platform. CPC. Which type of the abbreviation? What is friends? Day after tomorrow, sir. Code, code of the date mentioned. Initialism. Initialism. When you say tomorrow, if it is holiday under the General Clause Act of 1896, the next working day. The next working day, still has work. Uh, the under the General Clause of Act, it is say suppose. If it is clearly mentioned who crosses the red signal, he will be charged fine. A woman crosses the red signal and she says, I am not she, I am not he, I am she. Hence, the section is not applicable to me. He Answer is, he includes she. Who he. says? No, who says? General clause, sir. General clause act will say. <laughs> and female single. Now, uh, now, now the third gender is also included. Yes, it, now the third gender also to, comes. Does it apply gender. to that, uh, that gender? What is the name of the case law? Where the third gender is also be considered. What is the name of the case law? Navatej Singh. Navatej Singh. No. Pathan. No, no. There is no homosexual. <laughs> National <laughs> Service <laughs> Authority versus Union of India. National <laughs> League <laughs> Service <laughs> Authority <laughs> versus NLSA. Union NLSA of versus Union of India. And where okay. one of the organization would is the new organization, Hijra organization, also a party there. And that case law, he, she includes transgender. So, thank you very much for your participation. And we'll uh, meet on next, as per the schedule is concerned. The schedule says CPC on, what is that? In the marriage, yes, it is uh, 24th is the holiday and 25th is Monday. Thank you very much. Let me say goodbye. Have a nice day. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. And Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे We live in a world full